Hi, in this video, we will see how to install Git on your Windows computer. At first, open any of your favorite browser and then go to git-scm.com in this website. Once you are in this website, you will see this type of computer and there is a download link of Git. So we just need to download this thing before we need to install Git. So I'm going to click here and the download will be start shortly and you will see here and it will take few seconds and once the download is finished then we have to go to the download location and if the download is not started then there is a direct download link where you can click there and it will start downloading git on your computer once git is downloaded completely then go to the download location so for my computer the download location is under downloads so I'm going there and we'll see that there is the git git 2.26.0-64 bit okay my computer is 64 bit that's why it is 64 bit but if your computer is other bit then you will see that one so to run this thing or to install this we can double click on top it or we can right click and then we can choose open to open the installer so I'm just going to click open and it will open the installer very soon and it will give you this type of option like do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device I just click yes because we want to install git and if you choose no then it will not install so just click yes to start the installation and then it will open the installer window we don't need this window anymore so I'm going to minimize this thing and then I'm going to the git setup page and from here we have to we are seeing there are two buttons one is next and that is cancel so to start the install of git we just need to click the next button and it will go to the next page of setup and here it will ask you what it will install git so here it is showing by default c program files and git this is the folder where it will go and this is the whole location and if you want to choose to install git some other location you can also click browse and then you can map that location manually but i am not interested to do that i like to install the default installation so once you choose the path then you have to hit next button uh, to start the installation and one more thing here it is showing that you need 250 megabyte of free space to install so you must need this much space on your hard disk before you start the installation so once the requirement is done and once you set once you are happy with the path then hit the next button to go to the next step here you can choose what are the options you need to uh, install or enable but the default local uh, default check boxes are fine for me and if i need some other things we will do later so now we have to click on next button to go to the next step of the installation and here it is showing that setup will create the program's shortcut in the folding start menu folders that means it will in your start menu you will find a program like git for git okay and then uh, you can also um, disable that uh, this thing don't create a startup uh, start for uh, menu folder then it will not create that menu in the startup folder okay uh, then click on the next button to go to the next screen and then it is showing that use vim the, uh, this is the git default writer but if you choose you can also use like notepad or some visual studio code or something like that but i am not interested i just click on there uh, use vim this is fine and then click on next button to go to the next button and here there are a couple of paths a couple of uh, environment, uh, environment setups like path environment okay use git for git bash only git for command line and also from third party software this is recommended and there is another one so the recommended one is my preference but you can choose the other options also and then hit next button and then it's showing uh, there are two type of https uh, transport backend i will use the default one open SSL library but if you need uh, to modify this thing for some reason or for developing some other application or some reason security settings then you can also change that thing so i'm going to uh, click next button to go to the next step and there, here here it is asking how should git treat the ending in text file okay so here there are some things but the default is fine but if you wish you can also change and then click again next button and this is another skin why it is asking which terminal emulator do you want to use 
with your git bash so i will use min tty this is the default terminal but if you use if you want to use the windows default console window you can also choose this thing but this one uh, i'm fine with this one so i'm choosing this one and then i'm going to hit next button and then it is asking configure extra option if i want to configure any extra option then there are some check boxes so you can uh, check or uncheck based on your requirement but i am take, uh, putting the default ones the first two and then i'm going to hit install once we click hit install button then it will start installation so be, uh, till this point are the configuration things or options which i can customize and now if i click install it will start installation so i'm going to click install button and it will start installation it will take some time like a couple of minutes or sometimes three minutes four minutes based on the performance of your computer and once we finish uh, the whole thing then it will show you uh, that the installation of git is completed Once the installation of git is complete then you will get this type of confirmation message like completing the git setup wizard and there are two check boxes uh, launch git bash or uh, view release notes oh, i am not interested to see the release notes so i am going to uncheck and then i finally click on next button and then it will close the installer window that means the installation of git is complete now let's check whether it is installed successfully or not so to do that we can start click on the start menu and then type cmd and here is the command prompt we can click here and it will open the command prompt and from here we can type uh, git then space dash dash version and then hit it enter key and it will show you the git version if you see something like that git version and that means your git is installed on your windows computer successfully and now you are ready to use git on your project it doesn't matter whatever project you are trying to use but you can use git and this is the version 2.26.0 this is the version and we installed it on the windows computer and we use git directory version this command to check the version so let me show you one thing so here we uh, downloaded git 2.26.0 that means this version and this version it matches that means it installed the correct version but if you see some other version that means you are using the old version or something is happening for that case just uninstall the old version of git and then start installing uh, from the latest downloader of git so in this way i think you can easily install git on your windows computer hopefully this video will be useful uh, to install git on your computer uh, which is windows computer and if you want to uh, install git, git uh, on mac computer check uh, my other tutorial i will try to explain over there how to install git on your mac computer and thank you for watching if you like this video please hit the like button or if you don't like just hit the dislike button and also don't forget to comment if you wish and for, uh, subscribe to our channel thank you for watching